Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the GRE eligibility criteria. It's an examination eligibility criteria for especially for Indian students. So I have kept it focused to the Indian students. So let's get started with the first criteria, which is an age limit. Okay. So ETS has no specific age bar under the GRE 2020 eligibility criteria. Aspirants of any age who want to pursue programs like MBA, MS or law programs can take GRE test as per the admission requirements of the various institutes across the globe. Okay, you don't have to worry about your age limit, even if you are up 60 or even if you are 18 or even if you are 12 years old, you can just apply for it and you can go for it and take your examination and get the scores. Moving ahead, the next one is very important, educational qualification. Many students, I have seen that they have a doubt that if they are not graduate or if they have uh, you know, a degree in arts or science, can they apply for GRE examination? Absolutely, you can apply for GRE examination. Again, ETS has no specific GRE eligibility criteria as it does not offer any course. It's just an examination. You can take the score and use it accordingly. ETS or GRE examination or the GRE community, the people who host the examination, they do not care or they do not, um, for them, it doesn't matter what for what thing that you are going to use it for the score of the GRE. So it does not have any eligibility criteria when it comes to educational qualification um, uh, to apply and appear for the GRE test. There is no specific academic qualification under the eligibility criteria of GRE 2020. Uh, but mostly candidates who wish to pursue master's or specialized master's degree in business, MBA, law or doctoral degree, take the GRE test. So the criteria for the educational qualification totally depends on which country they are going to apply for using the same score of the GRE and which college they are looking for to get into admission. So based on the college, the, this particular criteria can change. So next one, the ID required at the time of registration. Okay, so this is very important when it comes to Indian students. Uh, GRE accept, accepts valid government IDs throughout the world. But in India, there's only one valid document is passport. You cannot bring a duplicate copy or you know uh, a xerox copy of passport you have to have an original passport with you at the time of examination there is no other document supported for the examination uh, one thing you should be very careful when you register when you are registered for examination gre registration is that your first name and last name matches exactly with the passport because that is going to be the deciding factor when it comes to uh, examination day it has to match exactly also it should have a recent photograph and a signature on okay which passport already has so your signature also matches which uh, should eat and if you don't have passport as of now please apply for it it will take around one month three months of uh, time time period to get it and after that only you can appear for GRE examination if you are an Indian student or Indian aspirant so wait a second now if you are preparing for GRE let me tell you one really good tip that I am also going to um, appear for GRE this year and I have spent around 30 days of my time to compare different resources, different platforms to study from GR, for GRE examination. Okay, so there is one platform which is called as Achievable Me. Um, we don't really hear about Achievable Me because it's a US-based company and US-based platform. Uh, it's an online or dashboard, completely online dashboard. They don't have offline centers, which is really good. I'll tell you why I think that this platform is really great for Indian students as well one platform number one resource for the GRE preparation it has outranked all the traditional resources as of now I'll tell you why okay I have trust me I have spoken to people who has used this platform I have got honest reviews and it actually worked for many of them and it worked really well okay so that's why as you can see here I have bought the platform because I also liked it and it's been a while that I'm using it and trust me I really feel like I should go out and make this video and let others as know about this new way of training yourself and especially this platform gives you a really good freedom of you know studying anywhere and everywhere you want that i'm going to cover uh, soon so first of all why why do i think that it's a good platform first one is accurately represents the difficulty of the test okay it does not undervalue or undermine or overmine the the difficulty level of the gre they every year they change their content based on how the trends are going on and what is going to happen and they predict their predictions are based on the expert advices it's not a speculation they do it really nicely so material is written to teach you how to beat the test okay so it is not about teaching you the mathematical skills or uh, uh, english language to you for those 
sections. It is about how GRE is going to conduct the question, how GRE question paper, how GRE is going to form the questions and how a student should approach it and make sure that you don't miss out on and you get the best answers and the perfect answers. So that's that was the main motto behind preparing the entire syllabus for achievable me. It actually also the good thing about it is it accurately weighs all the sections properly. Every year we cannot take it granted that every concept, every chapter, every section will have an equal weightage. So the next one is I would say there are no hard copies, but that's the main key. You don't have to carry your all the heavy books now. You can just use your mobile phone. As I told you already that this platform is highly responsive and very well built for mobile users as well. If you go there, you will not face even a 5% of difficulty to study on your mobile phone. I would say in my case, I study it. Most of the times I study it through my mobile phone because I cannot take my computer all the time on my laptop or I cannot keep it on. So it's better that whenever I want, if I'm, I'm in a mood to study, I'll just, I just start my mobile phone and I just start studying. They have a really, really high success rate. People have used it. They use a memory training and tracking technique, which I'm going to show you, which has resulted in really good high success rate. People get number of marks what they always wanted to. They keep a target and that's how they achieve it. So that's that that shows the high successful rate. Also, you can get a free sign up, which is there in the, on the website. Just go there, look around the dashboard. It's totally free to sign up. Use my link in the description below. Also, you'll get 20% up to 20% discount if you make any purchases. So do it right away.